Hi there, beautiful people. I have been up and rolling for hours now. And you know what? I just... I got bigger things up on my mind every single day than to be worrying about certain things that I shouldn't even be worrying about. So I'm going to let that all go. And I just figure it's not even worth it. Not worth it at all. I've been sitting here thinking about this and thinking about this and thinking about this. And it's stressing me. I'm not going to do it no more. Yesterday when I showed up at work, I did not even want to be here. Not at all. I'm like, I don't even want to be here. At all. I liked my job at first. I really did. But this whole quota thing, come on. If you don't have the items for us to go through, you're not going to put me up under a microscope for it. It's not going to happen. It's not. Number one. Number two. You're trying to throw me into doing the clothes again. Number one. I have allergies. Really bad. Matter of fact, when I left here yesterday, because I told them, I said, I'm not going to do it. There was no wares for me to do. You got more than enough people doing clothes. I'm going to use my PTO and I'm going home. I had to call the pharmacy to see if my eye doctor from last month, bless her heart, I know she's pregnant. You know, us women know how it is when we're pregnant. We get the pregnancy brain going on. We can only think about the baby and nothing else. So, apparently she had forgot to call the pharmacy to send in the prescription for my allergy eye drops for my eyes. So, when I called the pharmacy yesterday, it's still not there. It's been a month. So, I had to call my eye doctor's office back and let them know she's not there. So, they had to let the doctor know that is that was there yesterday. And I'm like, I need these eye drops. My eyes are bothering me. And digging up in these Gaylords that they have, I mean, there's everything up on these clothes. Everything. And it's all an irritant for my eyes. It, it, just an irritant for my allergies, period. So I'm like, I need this, these eye drops. And if you can just please... Call me back and let me know when the doctor does it. Well, the doctor never called me back yesterday. I'm like, oh boy. That means i got to go without it again. Here it is, almost Thanksgiving. Today's Tuesday. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. The pharmacy's going to be closed. I need my eye drops. Come on. and Get this together. It's going to happen. It's going to happen going to happen. I'm going to get my eye drops before Thanksgiving. I know it. I know it. So, but that's beside the point. I just didn't want to be here, knowing that they were going to throw me up in the clothes. You hired me as a pricer for wares. I'll do clothes. I ain't got a problem with it. But when you continuously want to stick me back there in that corner to go through a Gaylord today, and up to 15 ranks a day. I'm drawing the line. You want me to go through these Gaylords. You want me to price these items. Fine. Okay. You want me to go through six Gaylords a day. Price up to 300 wares a day. Push them out onto the floor. Okay. But you want me to do that. Plus, go through eight Gaylords a day, 15 racks a day, price them, 
plus help out with donations. I'm not complaining about a job. What I have to state is not a complaint. What I'm stating is, you want me back there multitasking for the pay that you are paying me. That's not going to happen. I know I need a job, but I don't need to be worked to death. So, the point is, either up my pay or cut back on what my quota needs to be. It's not worth it. Not at all. For this job or any job. It's not. Even if I gotta turn in a two week notice and go find a job somewhere else, I'll do it. I've done it before. I am not killing myself for a paycheck. It's not worth it. I still wholeheartedly believe what Goodwill is doing for their community for low-income people that are on a fixed income is great. I really do believe that. But how they treat their employees, quota, 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 they're making people neurotic. I'm not, no, 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 uh-uh, not me, no. Mm -mm. I'm cutting that one off. I'm cutting that one off at the pass. Y'all ain't even gonna make me neurotic. No. Uh-uh. The manager, other employees within the store can be all neurotic. I'm not doing it. Not worth it. Y'all don't pay enough for that. Please. But other than that, everything is good. I, it's a little cooler today. I can feel it in the air. We're supposed to have a cold front move in. And then it's supposed to be raining tomorrow and on Thanksgiving. I want to give a shout out to everybody for Thanksgiving. And say happy Thanksgiving. You know, we got to. We got to be more thankful for what we have instead of being more ungrateful because people are like I need this I need that you know and then blah 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 and blah 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 mm -mm. I'm grateful for what I have like I said I don't have that much but I'm grateful for it all I have a car I'm able to drive I'm so grateful for that over 40 years I had to walk everywhere or count on rides. Now I have a car. It took me a long time to get it. I have been driving since I was 16. Well, a driver's license since I was 16. But I didn't have my own personal car. Like I said, I was having to walk everywhere. Or catch rides to go somewhere. But now I have my own car. And I'm so thankful for it. I love my car love my car and I'm so grateful for my car I have a roof over my head now, granted I rent it's not the best side of town it's not but it's a roof over my head and I'm so grateful for that too I am grateful that I have furniture a lot of people sit on the floors and everything else but I'm grateful I have furniture. A lot of people sleep up on the floors. I'm grateful that I have a bed to sleep in every single night. So I have a lot to be grateful for. I have a job. Even though oops, I wonder if it's worth it sometimes with the job. But I am grateful that I do have a job. That I am. I'm extremely grateful for my job. You know, it's a paycheck. I don't like some of their policies with their employees that they have for their employees. You know, the whole quota thing. 
So, you know, I'll just do what I gotta do. Make that paycheck and go home. Every day that I am scheduled to work. I'll just come in, work, and then go home. That's all I can do. That's all I will do. Other than that, everything is good. I mean, it's good. And I'm grateful. I, I woke up this morning. I was like stiff as a cement kickboard. But I'm up and I'm moving, which I'm grateful for. Because one of my great aunts, she had RA. I mean, she had it bad. She was crippled up from it. And there was days that she just could not function. And, but she was up. She was moving around. And I'm grateful that I'm up and moving around. Yes, I have it. Yes, I do. I have rheumatoid arthritis. Ooh, and sometimes it kicks my butt. Oh, my Lord. On cold days, trying to walk. Ugh. One morning I got up and I had, it was probably around 6 in the morning. This was a few years ago. And then, it was cold. I mean, we had a little bit of ice and a little bit of sleet. And it was cold. And trying to get up and walk to the bathroom, it took me almost 10 minutes. I mean, from where my bed is to the bathroom, it's only a few feet. But it took me 10 minutes to walk there. And my husband's trying to help me. I was like, oh, stop, 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 stop. And I know he meant well and everything. But I, I just I couldn't have him helping me that day. Even though he meant well. And all I can remember is when I was a kid and watching those mummy movies. Uh, you know, and them trying to walk and everything else. That's how I looked that day, trying to walk. I was like, oh, my Lord, good gravy. It was hard. And then I had to take an 81 milligram of low-dose aspirin in a very hot shower. To, and then I was feeling a little bit better, but it was still achy. Now, I've been to the doctor a few times for my RA. All they want to do is dope you up. No. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No. I do not want to be doped up. I don't I don't want no painkillers. I don't want any of that. And then, well, they were telling me, well, we can use these others for your RA and also. Have you all even read the side effects? 